Hello and welcome to this short video of Blue Lady, a 2005 Harbour Rassi 342. Blue Lady has a slab reefing main with a brand new in 2015 mainsail stack pack. Uh, the mainsail is an Elvstrom offshore main which benefits from an extra third deep reef. Just take you up the two spreader rig from Selden, Ray Dome scanner. At the top, we had the wind instruments and LED nav lights. Moving forward on the 342, really easy affair, nice and wide. No in hindrance here around the track for the Genoa between the shrouds. Brings you up to this lovely open foredeck, a Lumar electric winch. And forward we have twin bow rollers. This blue lady has the bow sprit, which can be rigged on the port side very easily. This is for use for furling spinnaker and other reaching sails. The head sail was new, is a quantum head sail was new in 2009. Looking at the coach roof, we can see there are two large hatches make down the accommodation very light and airy down below deck step main and all the lines are led back to the cockpit ventilation down below from these durards on the coach roof and we have the aluminium frame tempered glass windscreen uh, which provides very warm dry protective sailing conditions for people in the cockpit the canvas spray hood along with the cockpit tent which encloses the cockpit uh, was new in 2015 this section folds away and has a lovely smart blue cover that holds it down very neatly. Uh, it further improves visibility forward on a nice day. A large stainless steel grab rail there for helping people move around the boat. As we come aft, we can see the primary winches for the sheets. And here is the traveler arrangement. This easily reached from the main helm's position goes right the way across the cockpit. 342 is a lively performer under sail. Uh, very quick speeds and light airs also. Blue Lady used to be coded, so she has plenty of safety equipment on board, which is all included in the sail. On the back here, as well as the manually adjusted backstay, uh, we have an integrated swim platform, hot and cold mixer for a fresh water shower, Blue Lady has a 24 litre isotemp water heater, which can be heated either from the shore power or by running the engine. At the helm's position, on the starboard side, engine controls, autopilot, shore power. She has cockpit speakers. Just give you the view forward from the helm position. You can see how good the visibility is. Unlike canvas spray hoods, the windows in the windscreen won't degrade with UV so you'll always have a really good visibility for your lookout. Like I said the lines are all led aft here easily accessible underneath the coach roof sorry behind the windscreen. Instruments above the companionway are wind, depth, there is also a Raymarine multi and your VHF speaker. Cockpit space there are two lockers and a lazarette one of them's a gas locker. There's a cockpit table that comes out here, which is usually stowed in this locker here. Easily fit four people around that table. The three person load star dinghy there with oars included in the sail and plenty life raft bracket there. Loads of space in this locker. So now we're down below on Blue Lady. I'm in the saloon area, which is a large space. The seating here for probably eight people quite comfortably. Uh, head height is uh, well over six feet um, throughout. There's the galley uh, handhelds here, either side for ease of movement through the cabin area. Three really large, wide uh, companionway steps. Nice, safe entrance in all sea conditions. Uh, here we have the marine heads. Um, 
holding tank controls behind there. Uh, the, there is also a heating outlet here, so this can be a wet locker, and which will dry your wet oilies. The shower grate is drained by an electric pump. We have hot cold mixer tap here, which also pulls out and doubles up as your shower, and there's storage behind. Blue Lady has uh, two opening hatches in the heads compartment. On the starboard side of the saloon is the charts table, forward facing, where you have all your instruments here. There is a Raymarine C80 chart plotter, which can also be installed out on deck underneath the spray hood. Save you coming down to check it every five minutes. A Furuno VHF radio there and a Furuno Navtex here. Here's your switchboard, 12 volt systems throughout Blue Lady, although she does have shore power, which powers the 220 volt outlets around the boat and also the battery charger. The batteries on board Blue Lady are rated to 240 amp hours. Show you on the along the starboard side of the saloon. Uh, this berth here is 1.91 meters long. Just lift it up for you. See it's quite wide. There's the chain plate arrangement and there's a nice reading lamp there. Well appointed accommodation. Moving forward, we have a large uh, four peak cabin. This berth is uh, 2.14 meters long. There is, a com there is storage below, well for storage below and lockers above, which are vented also. On the port side, we have opening hatch and a small vanity station. And a quick whiz over the starboard side, there is a large hanging locker. Another opening hatch and above there is a large uh, deck hatch that opens up. Loads of space in there. All the lockers on the Harvey Rassi have the mahogany slats. Uh, this separates your belongings from the outside of the boat avoids condensation forming on your clothing and other personal effects. Here we have the L-shaped sofa on the port side of the boat. Again there's a 1.91 metre berth there. Large saloon table leafed with bottle stowage in the middle. There is a lo another large opening hatch uh, above the table. Uh, here we have a well lit and compact char um, not char uh, galley area, stainless steel double sinks and a Danfoss 12 volt Danfoss refrigerator space. This little bit comes up here for an extra work area. Lots of drawers, an Eno cooker which has a grill and an oven, two burners, easy wipe down metal fascia to protect the wood there. And this also comes out when it's not in use. Gives you more area to work with. The aft cabin on the Blue Lady. This is where you'll find the largest berth. Can also be used to stow kit bags. We have more storage, reading lights, and a very large, another large hanging locker here. Uh, Blue Lady has heating throughout, including the heads that we've seen, and two 20 volt sockets throughout as well. Let's give you one more view overview of the saloon. And the hatch above. Just like to quickly show you the engine access on Blue Lady. Um, the companionway steps come up, the bottom step comes away. Uh, to reveal the service batteries and the domestic battery. Here we have the uh, air front of the engine, access to belts, alternator, and your impeller pump is right there. A quick overview of the engine space from this angle. All sound and heat insulated. And if we just nip around the side, into the aft cabin, 
there is more access here to the cell drive, the membrane. Um, we have the fresh water pump in here, the emergency bilge pumps in here, uh, the water strainer, and anti siphon loops for the toilets and the engine. This uh, reading lamp doubles up quite nicely as an inspection light for the entire area. 